Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a ton of combat experience while staying on your island by using ghasts. Okay, so the first thing you want to build is a container to hold the ghast minions. So what you want to do is build this box like this, and then right next to it you want to build another one. But first let's start with one box. Okay, so the inside of the area for the gas minions will be 11 by 11. So if you want to make this gas area also an AFK farm at the same time, then you might as well use packed ice to build it out. So you want an 11 by 11 platform of packed ice. And uh, that's 11 by 11 on the inside. So as you walk here, each way I walk across is 11 spaces. And then if you want to later make it an AFK farm, you want to add in hoppers on the corners there. And also in the middle and they'll each be pointed down and then you can put your chests below the, where the hoppers go. In the middle of the room you want to put one sand and then two cactus and then two blocks above that. The blocks could be any kind of stone and then above that will just be a stone roof. So it's 11 by 11 with five spaces here. So you got one, two, three, four, five and then a roof on top and a floor on the bottom. So it's really seven blocks tall if you're actually building up. So you want to build seven blocks up but five spaces in the middle. And then you wanna double up the walls around here so that the ghasts don't actually glitch out and go through the walls. So even though it's 11 by 11 on the inside, you actually wanna end up building it 15 by 15. So if I go out here, you'll notice that even though this is the corner, it goes two spaces out here and two spaces out here. So you have two walls all the way around. So it's really 15 by 15 if you're building it from the outside in. And then you actually have 11 by 11 on the inside. And so that just prevents the, the so that just prevents the gas from escaping and uh, flying around your island. Just to protect yourself, you also want to build this out far away from any of your chests and stuff on your island, because in the rare case that the gas do escape through the walls, they can blow fire and end up damaging or destroying your chests, and you really don't want that to happen. So uh, make sure you build this far away from where your chests are, just in case they do end up escaping and flying around your island. Uh, as you see here, if you do decide to build the uh, hoppers. You can just build the hoppers into another hopper, which then goes into chests. And uh, that's just if you want to make this doubling as an AFK farm. You don't have to use it as an AFK farm in order to get your combat experience. Um, but in case you do want to use it as one, you can easily turn it into one by just adding in those hoppers and the chest system. Okay, so once you have this 11 by 11 area surrounded by two walls on each side, you don't have to have two walls on the top or the bottom, by the way. They seem to not escape that way. So uh, I only have one roof uh, block width and uh, one floor width. And then once you have that there, what you want to do is place your minions down and you want to do it in such a way so that there's two spaces between each minion and also between the walls and the minion. And so what you do is you place the first one here, then you count over one, two, and then you place another one there, one, two, three, and you place another one there, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and then you go over here. And you're placing these around basically so that they're symmetrical. Once you have them all placed down, you could leave it like this, but if you want to get the gas tiers that fall from the ghasts that you kill, and also if you want to turn it into an AFK farm, what you want to do now is actually buy four buckets of water. So I'm going to do that now. One, two, three, four. And then what you want to do is place one on each side of this cactus. So uh, one on this side. Then I'm going to move over to here. I'm going to place one right there. And then one right there. And one right there and now that'll flow and that way when the gas actually die and they'll die by the cactus and also by the roof then the gas tiers will flow into these hoppers and the hoppers will then take the gas tiers into different chests but of course that's only if you want to use it as an afk farm as well so what we're going to do here today is use this as a way of actually gaining combat experience so now the trick is a lot of people have talked about using ghasts but the trick is to not kill them from inside of the area, but to actually fly up here onto the roof and kill them from the top. So what I did is I built two areas exactly like the one I just showed you. One here, then I built a little walkway here, and then another one over here. You could shorten this walkway, and you could build the two areas right next to each other if you want. You could also probably build one big area, um, but just to play it safe, I built two small areas. So now what I do is I actually run around here and I can, I'm using an aspect of the dragons, but you can use an aspect of the end. These things don't have that many hit points. So uh, any kind of basic sword will kill them in one shot. And I'm just running over here and I'm just slicing it and boom, done. Every time I do that, I get 50 combat experience. And 
they're spawned every 40 seconds or so. Um, if you want to use enchanted lava buckets in them to make them spawn faster, you could do that. I did that for mine. So for mine, they're uh, tier 5, and they spawn in about 35 seconds. So every 35 seconds, I have 16 minions placed, and every 35 seconds, one of them will spawn a ghast. Because I can just go running around like this, and every couple of seconds, one spawns. And I just run over here, I just go boom, boom. They can't fight or anything because they're being trapped by the wall. Every once in a while, um, it will escape through the ceiling. Uh, if it does, don't worry, just as long as, just make sure you don't have any chests nearby that it can shoot fire at and destroy. All right guys, so just out of curiosity, I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and I'm gonna kill as many gas as I can and I'm gonna see how much combat experience we can make with 16 tier five gas minions down in this setup. So I'll be right back and we'll see how much experience we get. Okay, so that was the timer. It, it was five minutes. I just fought ghasts for five minutes. By the way, while I was doing this, I realized that because they only have 150 hit points, I actually decided to use my epic rogue sword. That way I can use that along with a lot of the mana that I have because I have a wise set um, to go really fast and run around here. And then I can actually kill them with just a couple of hits. All right, guys, so I just finished this. And when I started, I had 41,497 experience points in my combat. And when I finished at the end of five minutes, I had 47,697 experience. Uh, that means that in five minutes, I made 6,200 experience points, which might not sound like a lot, but if you multiply that out for a whole hour's worth of fighting, I would actually have 74,400 experience points in just one hour. And uh, that's pretty crazy because I'm just sitting here on my island, running back and forth, fighting ghasts without any kind of risk to myself. And so uh, that's pretty insane. If you look at my current experience, I only needed 50,000 total just to go up a whole level. And in just one hour, I could make 74,400 experience. And so that could get you up several levels pretty fast. And as you know, every level you go up with combat, you actually gain 1% crit chance. So combat's actually a really key thing to level up because every extra crit chance you have means that you can use your talisman and forge them in a different way to get um, better critical damage instead of chance if you don't actually need the extra critical chance. So yeah, leveling your combat is pretty awesome. It also gives you raw damage as well toward the mobs that you're fighting. By the way, I actually just realized that I didn't even have my enchanted lava buckets in half of these minions because I put them in the first set of minions that I placed, but I didn't put them in the second eight set of minions. Um, so that means that uh, you actually make, if you have enchanted lava buckets in all the minions, you actually make more than that 74,000 experience per hour. Okay, and in case you're wondering where to get ghasts so that you can create the minion, you can either try to get one from one of your friends by trading them, or you can come over here to the Blazing Fortress, and at night, ghasts will actually spawn in this area near where these magma spawn. As you look up here, you see a ghast all the way up there. So uh, you can find the ghasts around here, and you can kill a few ghasts until you get to collection level 1, and then from there, you can buy the ghast tiers to create your first minions. And then once you have your first minions, you can use the tiers from there to get the future minions. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the video here, but this is pretty awesome. I'm going to probably leave these gas up here for a while so that I can get my combat experience up because it's pretty useful to level up your combat. So uh, with this setup, you can do it pretty fast. You don't have to worry about running around competing with other players because you can just do it on your island without having to worry. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. But until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace reminding you to... Embrace the baldness.